IntelliJ IDEA 2016.2 comes with improved spring support with better performance. For example, if you have a generic class, IntelliJ IDEA will correctly use the generic type, in this case integer or string, to qualify which bean to use. The latest version has a new inspection to point out when you're using field injection, which is not recommended, and suggest a fix for this. If you have custom event listener annotations that use alias 4, you get the same help when you're using your custom annotation as you would with the standard one, including code completion for spring expression language, or spell, in the annotation attributes. Support for spring caching has been improved. Firstly, with added support for the latest caching annotation attributes, key generator, cache manager, and cache resolver. And a number of inspections have been added to help you out. One to let you know you need to provide a cache name for caching operations. One that warns you if you've got cache put and cacheable annotations on the same method. And one to let you know that cacheable annotations should be on an implementation, not an interface. When you have multiple operations working with the same cache name, IntelliJ IDEA now shows a gutter icon to allow you to identify and navigate between these different operations. As with the event listener defined with alias 4, custom cacheable annotations that use alias 4 are also fully supported, including spell code completion. Spring MVC is not forgotten in all this. If you've got named values in your model, Free marker and velocity templates support code completion and navigation for these variables. There are also a number of improvements and fixes for using Spring Security, including support for all the major features added in Spring Security 4.0 and context-dependent assistance for spell in XML and Java files. In fact, a lot of work has gone into Spring Expression Language support, so you should see improvements wherever you use it.